beautiful people, happy new year. I hope this year will bring tidings and blessings. Thank you for keeping it here at KTN and Art of Living. Our guest today is the CEO of Yellow Designs and she is a social media sensation celebrated for her artistic flair. She also is a TV reality star. She opens her enchanting doors to us to engage, explore her artistic journey with the magic behind her personal space and her brand. Let's discover, explore, and engage. She is none other than Marcy Cello. Hi! Hi. Marcy! Oh Look at you, my oh, Is that how you slay at home? No way. Is this how you slay at work? Of course I try, try. This is out of living. This is out of living. No, you but look you know, so beautiful. Thank you, darling. You know, take a turn so that people can see how gorgeous oh and how amazing goodness. she looks. Don't Doesn't make she just me look? Take a time. I must. <laughs> Don't you really all love her? <laughs> oh my God, this is for you. Another one. Absolutely. And another one. For sure, you deserve it. Mercy, you're just such Thank a wonderful you. person. First of all, I have the other one. You do? So I when, want to see if you took care of it. When Nyla gives you a plant, <laughs> it comes with blessings. It comes with blessings. My other house was so full of joy and love. And, and here we are, another house, and there's a beautiful pot of blessing waiting. Oh, I love, I love it. it. I love it. Yeah. Oh, wait. So, yeah, we can't just go on and talk and talk. Uh -huh. Alas. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice Marvin, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Uh -huh. So, Marvin, I'm sorry. Today I had a few people coming over. They want to see where I live. So, Marvin, he was like the old traditional way. Mm -hmm. A girl must move into the man's house. Okay. So he got me from Ukoshago. Tigoni. Tigoni. That new home that you are at, <laughs> that we absolutely love. I know, right? But this is so spectacular. <laughs> Thank you, Marvin, for bringing her into town. Right. I can't wait to take a tour of this magnificent space. I love it. Oh, it's so enchanting. Isn't it just? Don't you guys just love it? <laughs> I guys, love it. Always it patabwana Ukoshago. <laughs> Is that the case? Is that the case? <laughs> there are no men in shags. There are no men in shags unless, okay, they're there unless <laughs> you, you want to wash clothes. TV. No, but no. no and no. go to the river. No, Naila, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to. You must go to the river, <laughs> go to the forest and fetch the firewood. That's when you can get a husband, right? And you know I can go to the river. Obvious. You know, like, I can do that. Oh, yeah, so, you're look, that girl. I'm that girl. So I can do it all. It's just that, look, we want to be in the city. Yeah. So let's be in the city. Let's okay. enjoy a little. Yes. We understand. <laughs> I thought you were a country girl, but here you are. You know. You have different personas. I, I want to know about these personas. Yes. And Marvin, mm -hmm. congratulations for winning her heart. Thank you so much. We are really happy to bring him to our viewers, <laughs> introducing <laughs> Mr. Gishuru. So you're going to be Mrs. Gishuru. I'm going to have to be a something Gishuru. We're going to talk about that. So <laughs> I would allow, I'll allow you to put that down. Thank you. And then you give me the tour of your beautiful space. It. So mercy. Yes. <sighs> Another time. Another season. <laughs> a woman must evolve. They must. We must. For real. <laughs> the last time I remember the questions you asked me. Yeah. You asked me if I want to have kids. Yes. If I want to have a husband. Yeah. If I want to leave Tigoni. Yes. Would I leave? Yes. And it's so crazy how this this has come full circle. Yes. Because now we're in another situation and I mean it's... Season. <laughs> Completely. And you look happier. You're just glowing. Yeah, I gained a few cheeks here and there. You must. Why... <laughs> You know, why not? <laughs> Look at her. You are loved her. Yeah. You live in a beautiful space. Your business is thriving, I yes, believe. Yes. Tell me something about your relationship with this wonderful man yeah. that we've met today. Yeah. First of all, why it, I, I will talk about why I feel happy. Yeah. Why I feel happy is because I don't have to pretend to be someone else. Okay. I don't have to pretend I know how to cook. I don't have to pretend that I, you know, like I am a strong woman. Yes. First of all, he doesn't like me calling myself strong woman. Okay. I don't like it on myself. He's like, no, you're a baby girl. You're delicate. I'll take care of you. 
you know, this is a partnership, you can be codependent, you don't have to be super independent. So I feel like I had, I, I, for a very long time, I had this very masculine traits about me, which is independence, standing for yourself and all these things. But, you know, you know, when you want a partner, you yeah. can't be all those things you alone. You, you have, have to allow, you yeah. allow yourself to be a girl. Yeah, you have to allow yourself to be smooth, yeah. soft. Yeah. So are you engaged? Yes. Hey! Yay! Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> I know you'll be looking for the ring, but nowhere to be seen. Uh -huh. So how did the engagement go? So the engagement was pretty amazing. Okay, uh -huh. I won't I won't lie. It was mostly like a conversation. Okay. It's not what you see on Instagram, someone goes down and everybody goes. No, it was pretty a conversation. Okay. I think you and I could go somewhere. Uh -huh. And I think we should make this. And I was like, so there's no ring in my head. Yes. In my head. You're like, well, there is a well, ring. Is there, but I also realized that we put on a lot of pressures and a lot of fake expectations. And, you know, people are people, you know. So they do I, different. I, yes. Everybody does different. And it's unfair of you yeah. to ask your man or anyone, who, whoever is in your life, to, to do it the way Kanye did or to yeah. do it the way Jay-Z did. Yeah. Actually, we don't even know how Jay-Z did it. No, we don't. Right? Yes. So it's, it, I, I felt in my heart yeah. to let him have the opportunity to do it the way he wants to do it. I love it. And so I love it. So I we're here. It. So this is a four-bedroom four okay. house. Okay, okay. Uh, three bedrooms that are inside the house and okay. one bedroom that is outside that okay. can be for the it's a servant's quarter right now okay. but we use it we use it for every other thing other than what is in the house okay yeah okay what do you love most about this space wow okay there's so many things first of all i'm yeah. so happy to be in the city oh yeah you know really? every my my sisters they used to say oh me name so shambani <laughs> so shago everyone would come home and they'd be like well, you don't understand since you don't live in Nairobi. I had that too many times. Oh my God, they actually even had a label for you. They ha I have a label, what do you mean? Oh. I'm the country girl. <laughs> so it was so different. When he brought me to the country, uh, I mean to the city, uh, I was like, wait, are wow, those the buildings? Lights. The, the lights are Maram, nice. Maram everywhere. Oh my God. <laughs> Shops, walking distance. <laughs> so I think being in the city, to be honest, uh -huh. is a different feel. Um, I look outside my window and I don't see greenery, I see buildings. Okay. So it's a, I think a change is as good as a rest. Agreed. I think the change is the best part of the house. So coming back, I, ha I mean coming here, we had, to, we had to decorate all from scratch. Okay. Yeah. What was the process like? Did you do it together? Did you do it alone? Oh uh, yeah, of course we did it together. I wasn't okay. going to move anybody's anything without their permission. Yes. So we fixed the living room and we thought it would be nice for us to have a space in the living room for us to work from, just yes. a, dedicating, a dedicated work area. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the lighting yeah. and the mood. Yeah. Um, did you have the lighting fixtures already in place yeah. or did you buy this? Yeah, so the, the lighting fixtures with the gypsum mm -hmm. were already in place, okay. which is something I really loved about this apartment okay. because they already give you a, a type of like mood lighting. Mm -hmm. There's the light, the mm -hmm. white down lighters, mm -hmm. which we use during the day mm -hmm. and then the snake lights which we use when it's calmer oh. and we just want the house to be dim and and you know have something candle lit yes. and sexy yes. in the evening yes. so i love that about the lighting in this house yes. of course i had to bring my lights from tigoni okay i think a touch of me yes. is always needed somewhere absolutely because it was so modern yeah it was so modern so i thought i'll bring my lanterns yes i love um, them they look very different here yeah. yeah and it looks perfect yeah yeah i mean i don't know what you think but mixing vintage and modern. super modern what yeah. do you think about that i love it i love the experience that it gives the space it's yeah. unique it's different because it's personal to yeah. you yeah and i have so many pieces of art yeah which we never got to even display on the other side yeah that here just got the space and they got the limelight yes like that board for sure that board didn't have a place to go mm -hmm. but in, immediately we got into this house all yes. i could see was where that board was going yeah. what are those things that you had to make sure that were in your living room accessory with ways. Okay, so we had a debate. Do we have the TV in the living room or uh -huh. do we have it in the bedroom? Okay. I'm one of those people who fall asleep while something is going on. Okay. So my champion was 
TV in the bedroom, TV in the bedroom. Out in the countryside, that was not an option. Because everybody comes to your house and they want to watch something. But I felt like the city is different. But at the end of the day, we decided that the TV will be the first accessory in the sitting room. Okay. Followed by our bookshelf. Okay. Stroke. Uh, Bench. Oh, I love it. Yeah. You both bo love to read. We both love to read. And why historical books? Because I've just noticed that. So we, you know, when we met, mm -hmm. the first thing that we connected over was conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. okay. And just basically what our future looks like mm -hmm. as Africans, mm -hmm. as people from this continent. And that's mm -hmm. why you see a lot of books. So combined, our books are just, they, we need to have a whole shelf of a library. Yeah, I like the trinkets of different books in yeah. different areas. It yeah. looks very artistic. They you have books, you have books on the table. Yeah, so the idea is that you'd never get bored. Yes. Uh, if you were to sit by your chair yeah. or if you were to sit there, you could always get something you can open and just have a read. Let's talk about the furniture, the green chair. I love it. I love the color. Yeah. Green is my favorite color. Yeah. Um, I, I love the fact that you are not conventional in terms of making your space very modern. Mm -hmm. So you have modern pieces, mm -hmm. you have antique pieces, very rustic. Yeah. That mix is so eclectic, so beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Talk to me about the chair and the amazing table. Centerpiece. Centerpiece, which yeah. is a statement. <laughs> yeah. This table. <laughs> when it comes to the chairs, mm. um, so for me, we both love roadside furniture. Okay. From Gong Road, on your way to Karen, anything on the side of the roads. Really? We will stop and we will look and we will be like, in how much? Eh? Hey. Because there's so many beautiful artisans out there on the okay. road. Okay. They create some really nice things. I, I like the velvety feel. Yeah, yeah, the velvet piece was a stroke of genius from our guy. Mm -hmm. He just said, you know what, I want you guys to have a seat that is different from the rest okay and and then the two seats he said you know what there's this style from the 60s so the style from the 60s is having the small thin legs okay the wooden legs pop pop down all right and also the overturned triangle type okay. of look for the seats okay we really really love that type of look all right yeah because it has that 60s vibe i like that business doing? Yalo has gone through many changes. Okay. First of all, I'll say that I feel like we're going, we're on the right track. Okay. I feel that we are experiencing a different type of success than I thought we would be experiencing because online you get your service done, your, your product is sent back to you in good time. The whole process of buying is so much easier. This entrepreneur, we must support her. And I want you to tell the viewers where they can find these amazing leather bags yeah. that I absolutely love. Guys, we're the right people to talk to when you're talking about leather goods, seats, bags, everything leather. We are the right consultants. You can find us on our Instagram platform at Yellow Leather or on our website, yellow.co.ke. And end of this month, we are opening Yellow Home which is a place where you'll come and buy small trinkets for your home, small pieces, decor. I mean, I know your plants will be there for sure. Yes. And they'll be called Nyla. I love that. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad. Thank you very much. I love this, the carpets. They are all different. Yeah. They bring texture and color into the space. Yeah. Um, that is handmade. I believe this is a passion carpet. Yeah. Talk to me, the yeah. choices and why. Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, the Persian carpet, which yeah. I genuinely love, yeah. handmade, yes. was a gift from my friend from Ka Persian Carpets. Okay. So she also entered my house and she was like, you have a beautiful space. Yes. It deserves a runner carpet. Mm -hmm. Before then, I didn't even know why people use runners. Mm -hmm. Now I know why people use runners, you it know, for It makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. Yeah. And for it to be a Persian carpet, mm -hmm. when you learn about the history of Persian carpets, I became so impressed. Mm -hmm. They are made of uh, maybe even 200 days mm. of 
handmade hard work mm, labor mm, mm. and you know owning a workshop where people make things handmade mm. i understand the kind of labor that goes into making the carpets mm -hmm. i love it just for who made it so that's a tree trunk yes I see as you that. see that way it's a tree trunk it came exactly like that mm -hmm. and when i went to pick the the, the table or rather it was a tree trunk mm -hmm. you see various tree trunks mm -hmm. and this one mm -hmm. it was in the middle and it just stood out mm -hmm. it had so many branches yes and it was so thick and it's such huge very high quality material yeah. and i was like this one i'm so curious to see how the other spaces yeah. look like welcome thank you darling let's go Mercy, you're the <laughs> girlfriend that every chick or every girl wants to have. Really? Oh my goodness. It's... Guys, I just want to be Nyla's girlfriend. You know? I just want to be your girlfriend. Oh, thank you. But look at this. This is just for you girls? Pillow talk? Yeah, so this is the pillow talk room. Yeah. Where I started a podcast. Yes. Where we just air out our thoughts and our views. Yes. Which is called pillow talk. Yes. And so this is the pillow talk room. Don't you guys love it? It's so spectacular, so sophisticated, <laughs> so stunning. I love the pink at the back. It is so cool. <laughs> you transform every space you go to to this amazing space that you just want to sit and chill. My goodness, I just feel like chilling here and not doing much. Yeah. And just we just have that pillow talk. Yeah. Talk to me about the deco pieces here. Yeah. I love I love this yeah. seat. I love the the, 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 the beddings yeah. as well and just at the back it looks so amazing and the lighting this as well this yeah. light fixture yeah the decor you didn't do much with the painting no but just all this the beddings look so good yeah. the pillows the bed itself talk to me about the decor process of creating the space thank you i i think the best way to make a bedroom stand out is yes. to dress the bed okay and if your wall colors are plain let's say gray cream mm -hmm. then your duvet has a lot to do with how your bed will look like at the very end okay. so i love a colorful duvet especially yes. where the walls are gray and white and yes. just plain walls yes and i also love a lot of pillows i think every bed that has a lot of pillows you suddenly you look like you are in the prince's absolutely room yes. you, know, you, you just went to visit the lord master ah yes please right you must leave it up yeah so when you have a big bed mm -hmm. i suggest that you have a huge a, a nice colorful duvet mm -hmm. and a lot of pillows have one big back pillow yes and then the rest of the pillows are just there for someone to choose whether they want a hard pillow or a yes. soft pillow uh, at night yeah so they're all different structures this is really really soft okay. and this is always a bit harder okay. this is just for backrest if you okay. want to read okay you, you you lay back and you're able to read at night and we read i mean that book on the side you have is a beautiful book Okay. I would say any girl should read that book. We're going to have, we're going to need more wine. Okay. By Gabriel Union. You, you had that, guys. And that's my side of the bed. So at least a, a, a paragraph before yeah. bed yeah. always works. And I love the headboard as well. It's beautiful yeah. bed, furniture, yeah, like thank good you. wood. No, really I must good tell wood. you about the furniture. Yeah. The guy who does these beds yes. is clearly so talented. Yeah. So all these are handcrafted. Yeah. And he just does a spectacular job. And you'll see the rest of the beds. Yes. He just does a great job at hand carving okay. each and every bed. Okay. And they're all so beautifully done. Okay. Hardwood. Okay. I'm so proud. And, and him being fully Kenyan. Yes. I, I just, I'm in awe of the amount of things that come out from the streets that look so good. This is such a showstopper for me. Yeah. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's so captivating. Neon Mixed. lights. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me about this. Yeah. So Marvin went and brought someone to do the neon light, mm -hmm. which I thought was really, really great. We mm -hmm. were just to have a logo just saying Ma Pillow Talk by Marcy, but he was like, no, let it glow. Let it have some light into it. So he brought the neon light, he did the perspex, and I think it just brings out that girlish era that I am in. I you love know? it. So when I saw the pink, I was like, count me in. This is exactly what I was talking about, what I like. And I, I really, really love the logo. I, love I it really too. love it. This piece has a lot of character and personality. <laughs> My goodness, girl. Yeah. You can't stop it. Huh? The, I, your creative juices just flow. I can't stop myself. I love We're this We're in room. the action room. Oh, you can't stop. 
I agree. <laughs> I agree a hundred percent. We are not stopping anytime soon. No, you must not stop and I support that a hundred percent. Please. I don't want to talk. Right. Explain to me the magic behind this beautiful room. decor in yeah. the space. So this room is our darkest room. Okay. The one that least receive, it receives the light, light the least. Okay. So it's the dark room where you sleep very quickly, you fall asleep very quickly, you wake up very late because you know the sun is not shining on you. So it's that place where we spend most of the time. So I love it because with the when you put off the lights and then you have the ambient light, it's just so beautiful. And you can have those sexy conversations, those sweets, you can cuddle all day, all night. Snug I, away. You, this is a snug room. That's why I call it the action room. You know I, what I, mean? I see, yeah. I see, I see. What, what I love most about this room is the bed. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, even the first bed, mm -hmm. I think the artistry on the bed is just the, one of the things that I have seen to be so unique mm -hmm. in, in all the furnitures I buy, mm -hmm. I think they put in a lot of effort, love mm -hmm. in, in the crafting of each and every piece they make. Mm -hmm. And I love it. So I love this bed. Everybody who comes will always talk about this bed. So I, I think it's important when you're dressing any room, yes. you should have a point where people can have a conversation about. Whether it's your bed sheets, how comfortable your bed is, that's important. But most of all, design. Design keeps people talking. They'll carry that conversation even when they come to the sitting room. So anytime where you have a very beautiful piece as a centerpiece in the, the design, I think it's always a great conversation starter. I must tell you, do you know how we wash dishes here? How? Okay, good. We, there's a decision. There's a way we decide who will wash the dishes. I love it. Ah, yeah, come and show you. Um, Maybe you might be the one to, to wash, the, wash dishes the dishes today. today. <laughs> come closer. Come Quasha closer. Kuosha Vyombo. <laughs> Do you wash dishes? I don't like washing dishes. Oh my gosh, she just looks like a baby girl. Do these nails wash Please. dishes? I can't be working so hard and going home to wash dishes, surely. Somebody gotta wash the dishes right. and I go get the money. Yeah, for sure. So in my household, yeah. everyone is working hard. Everyone is getting the money. Who will wash the dishes? Tell me, how do you do it? Exactly. Uh -huh. Welcome to the chamber of game. <laughs> <laughs> this is so clever. So, you know, if you hit this or Spot. closer here, yes, you are free. You are not washing any dishes. Let's go. Okay, cool. Let's go, so. All right. Let's see. Let's see. But I'll wash dishes again. Oh my goodness. I'll wash so many dishes. She's about to... Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Guys, you know, I'm, I'm used to this, and I'm never washing dishes. Like when I come here, yeah. I know it's now or never. Ah. Uh -huh. Hey, so so you're the one going to so wash the dishes? You're washing dishes? There no, are... mine was here. No, but they're all down. Nyla, <laughs> somebody explain this game to Nyla. <laughs> you lost. Did I lose? She guys, lost. I've never played dance, to be honest. I have a day where both of you will take a break and I'll wash the dishes. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> Marvin, for opening your space to us. You know, you're the head of the home. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. I'm still getting used to someone else being the head. I know, right? Right? It's so hard. What do you mean I'm not the head? I know, right? But get used to it, girl. <laughs> this is your new season. <laughs> Cheers, guys, to this new Cheers. season. Cheers to new season. Love forever. Love forever. Live your, hashtag live your best life. Forever. Mm -hmm.